Tonight, LeBron James is going to reach 40,000 career points, a record that seems almost unbreakable. But today, I've created a player to break that record, Benny Buckets, a 99 overall, 6 foot 9 point guard with maxed out stats and maxed out badges. Today, we're going to see if Benny can break LeBron's record and also take over the league by winning championships. I put him on the Chicago Bulls because I thought it'd be pretty cool. You know, Michael Jordan used to play for the Bulls. People compare LeBron and Mike. Why not put Benny Buckets in Chicago as well? So far, we're about 20 games into his career and Benny is taking over 30 points per game over 17 rebounds and almost 12 assists a night I think breaking LeBron's record might be a walk in the park for Benny Benny Buckets is named MVP and Rookie of the Year as he averages 32.5 points per game in his rookie campaign. He also won Defensive Player of the Year, and Billy Donovan was named Coach of the Year. So Benny is even saving the Chicago Bulls. He's doing incredible things. We were the one seed in the Eastern Conference. In the first round, we're going to be taking on the Miami Heat, and we take care of them in six. Round two, it's going to be Cleveland. We beat them in five. Conference Finals, we got Philadelphia, and we beat beat them in six in the finals it's going to be the clippers and we sweep them in his rookie season benny buckets goes crazy and leads chicago to an nba championship but he's obviously a long ways away from passing lebron james on that all-time scoring list so far benny has put up over 2600 points which is a lot and it puts him well on pace to pass LeBron but it's gonna take a lot of work and LeBron hasn't retired yet so he can keep adding to that scoring total Benny's supporting cast in Chicago isn't great but that didn't stop him last year I know Benny's gonna score a lot more points this year but let's see if he can get his second chip in a row as well oh my goodness Benny just keeps getting better 34 points per game on the season he's probably gonna be the all-time leader in rebounds and assists too it's really about to get crazy he also wins defensive player of the year and billy donovan coach of the year so not only is this guy putting up stats he's also going out there and leading our team to wins let's see if we can go for two chips in a row we're up three two on indiana we're headed to do a game seven i'd definitely be down to hop into this game i want to see our guy benny in action but unfortunately the pacers are gonna beat us in convincing fashion benny goes down in the nba playoffs and at this point, he is up to almost 5,500 points for his NBA career. LeBron James did end up retiring, but not before adding some more points to his record. He's at 42,291. But don't worry, that's light work for a guy like Benny. He's going to go ahead and beat this record. Shout out to Benny Buckets winning another MVP award. This season, he averaged 31 a game. He's already at 8,000 points for his NBA career. At this rate, he's going to break LeBron's record pretty quickly. We were the one seed as we won 67 games on the season. That is our best win total so far. But we might lose in the first round round we just lost in six all right benny you got off to a hot start to your nba career winning a championship in season number one but now as a 99 overall with all these attributes you're losing in the playoffs two years in a row he was the one seed lost to the eight seed now granted the miami heat did go on to win the championship as the eight seed and the heat they're never a team you want to face in the playoffs they kind of try hard in the playoffs right but still it's tough to lose to them we did pick up Lori Markinen, so reinforcements are here. No excuses this season, Benny. It's time to get another championship on that resume. Shout out to Benny, another MVP. And he is already over 10,000 points in just four seasons. He also takes home the DPOY, and he wins Clutch Player of the Year. Joe Mazzulla is our coach now, and he wins Coach of the Year. We were the one seed once again, 60 wins. Come on, it is time for Benny to get another championship. We win round one. Round two, we got the Toronto Raptors. Oh my gosh. Benny, I'm not going to lie. You're on fraud watch. They're saying you're putting up empty stats. They're saying they don't lead to championships. 
I can't believe he's out here losing, man. That's actually crazy to me. The team even got him Lori Markkinen and he still lost. I forgot all about that. Man, Benny, you're kind of selling right now. Let's see if he can get a championship this year. He's only 23 years old, so he's got a lot of time to add to his resume. And of course, the resume already looks great with all the MVPs and the DPOYs and everything. But it would be cool to see him get a couple more chips. I didn't know Benny had it like that. 40 points per game? Are you kidding me? That means he put up over 3,000 points in a single season. That is insane. And he was still getting all the assists and the rebounds and everything. Oh, the league changed the shot clock to 20 seconds. So that's why he was getting so many buckets. Hey, we'll take it. It helps out our guy. Round number one, we're taking on the Hawks. We sweep them. Round two, we got the Magic. We beat them in seven. Conference finals, it's going to be Toronto, and we lose in six. I think Toronto has beat us two years in a row, and Benny goes out once again in the NBA playoffs. He actually only has a year left on his contract, and if he wants to leave Chicago, I'll let him leave. I gave him a max contract after the first season, but I don't want to force him to stay in Chicago the whole video if the team just isn't good enough for him to win and he's trying to carry and everything so this could be benny's last dance with the chicago bulls we'll see if he decides to stay loyal or if he leaves another mvp for benny his 35 points per game on the season put him up to almost 17,000 points for his career it's only been six years he also wins dpoy shout out to Bronny though oh my goodness hooping in phoenix Billy Donovan left us and won coach of the year in OKC. He's back with the Thunder coaching them. And this year we won 65 games. We were the one seed. We've been the one seed every single season. But so far, we only have one NBA championship. Hopefully that changes this year. It looks like we're at least going to make the conference finals. We're here in the finals, taking on the Oklahoma City Thunder. And it's headed to a game seven. I stopped that just in time. How did the Thunder get cat? Oh my gosh. Their team is insane. We're about to jump in the simcast for game seven versus the oklahoma city avengers let's get into it benny lost again oh my goodness he got smacked in game seven he only had 19 points in this one otherwise it was a monster playoff run for him but he just couldn't come through in the biggest game even in the losing effort he wins finals mvp sad to see benny come up just short but he did end up signing an extension with chicago so he's gonna be sticking around he's only 25 years old and he is well on his way to breaking bronze record like i've been saying though it would be nice to see him win some more championships all these stats and only one ring to show for it another season in the books is anybody surprised benny won another mvp he also won dpoy and he was on first team of course we ended up winning 59 games for the first time ever we're the second seed it looks like we'll make it out of round one in round two we got the miami heat we're gonna take care of them in six conference finals we got the knicks we take care of them in five we're back in the finals against okc See, this team is ridiculous bro like how is this possible if benny wins this i applaud him because this thunder team is absolutely insane we're tied up at two apiece after four games we win game five and six benny another championship finally he did it man seven seasons in he's got two chips seven mvps seven dpoys and also he has put up almost twenty thousand points he might be able to break bronze record in like 15 seasons which would be ridiculous because in this simulation LeBron played 22 seasons to put up that many points. We have Anthony Davis on this team now. Apparently, we traded for an old AD. That's kind of crazy. We got some old players on this squad, but don't worry. I think Benny's got their back. Let's see if we can go back to back on ring. He did it again. Another MVP. Let's be honest. We expect this out of him every year. 22,360 points thus far for Benny. He also won DPOY. And we were the three seed. 52 wins. Round number one, we got the Washington Wizards. We take him down in five. Round two, we got the Indiana Pacers, and we lose in six. So it seems like Benny can't just carry us every single year. We definitely need to get him some help. But I do want to take a quick look at the all-time scoring list 
and see where Benny stands. Bro, I think this man broke 2K. He's on the list like five times. I'm pretty sure this one is our Benny Buckets. I don't know why it says he's on the Blazers, but whatever, I guess. Honestly, the supporting cast in Chicago isn't looking bad, though. So I'm going to need my guy Benny to lock in, go get another championship, and of course, go get a bunch more buckets. Season is wrapped. Benny did it again. And at this point, we are nine years into his career, and he has over 25,000 points. That is ridiculous, man. We're the number one seed with only 50 wins. Man, the East suck this year. Maybe that means Benny can get his hands on a championship. We're up three to two on the Raptors. We beat him in six. Round two, it's going to be the Orlando Magic. We're up three, two on the Magic, and we're headed to a game seven where we lose. We got smacked in game seven too. Benny continues to do his thing, and the Bulls continue to suck. You know, I just realized this. They call the Bulls mascot Benny the Bull. I probably should have put two and two together in a little bad weather a little bit earlier, but it just now hit me. You know what else just now hit me? I haven't asked you to subscribe yet, so if you're enjoying the video so far, I'd appreciate if you consider subscribing. We're closing in on 30K. Another year of Benny dominance. Let's get into it. He's on the last year of his contract. We'll see if he decides to leave Chicago next summer or if he signs an extension. Benny had a big scoring year this season, 37 and a half points, which is the second highest of his NBA career. With that, he's over 28,000 points. Also, the rebound are insane almost 13,000 to go along with 9,000 assists I'm gonna check on where he's at in terms of the all-time rebounds and assist and everything too because I'm kind of curious we're the two seed this year headed into the playoffs round number one we got the Cleveland Cavaliers we beat them in five round two it's gonna be the Hornets we beat them in five as well conference finals we got Indiana and we sweep them okay we're back in the finals taking on the New Orleans Pelicans game one of the series goes to us game two also goes to us Pels take game three and four and five and six of course oh my goodness he averaged almost 50 in the finals you can't blame Benny man he tried his best also he signed another five year extension and I want to show you guys where he's at in terms of all the all-time records so let's check that out so right now he is 21st all-time in scoring for some reason he's also 22nd 23rd 24 20 what is going on this man is breaking the game bro how is he on all these spots I don't understand yo he's like he's on like every spot what is going on 2k he's about to take over the whole top 100 but the accurate number is the one in 21st he has 28,176 points also in rebounds he's 22nd and he's broken the entire league there as well in assist he's 20th and again he broke the whole list he's up to 13th in blocks he'll probably reach number one in like every category by the end of this video which is crazy 20th in steals yeah y'all get the point he's doing a lot of great stuff this is what our squad is looking like headed into another season let's get into it benny buckets another mvp award and now he has cracked 30,000 points he might be able to pass braun in like five seasons which is insane how many years are we even into benny's career at this point it's been 11 wow it's actually gone by really quickly we're the two seed headed into the playoffs and wow we just came back down 3-1 on Miami we were down kind of big on Charlotte we came back and just like that we're in the finals we're going to be taking on Portland now I know throughout this video I've kind of gone fast through the playoffs and that's because I'm mainly focused on Benny's accolades but if we get like a game seven in the finals I'll definitely hop in the simcast because I mean that'd be really cool to see we might just get it against Portland nope we end up winning at six and Benny adds to his already stacked resume a third championship to go along with 11 MVPs, 11 DPOIs, just ridiculous. Like imagine if Benny was on a halfway decent team too. He probably would have had 10 championships by now as well to go along with everything else. But man, Chicago, they've had a couple decent teams in this video, but nothing crazy. Like they've had some good squads, but some years the teams have looked rough. Anyways, let's get into another season. Another incredible individual season for Benny, but as a team, we were actually really bad. Now, Benny has upped his points total to 33,500 this year, and he of course ended up winning the DPOY, but we couldn't even crack 50 wins. 46 wins on the season was all we could manage. 
Going into the playoffs, I'm not confident in our ability to win a championship at all. We do make it out of the first round, but we lost in round two. He dropped 67, 18, and 15 in the final game of this series and still lost. This just shows you, being a great player can definitely take you a long way, but the teammates around you have to show up in the end if you want to get wins. But it's all right, Benny. This video isn't about winning championships. It's about you breaking record. And Benny's definitely on pace to break that scoring record and soon. Season is wrapped. Benny averaged below 30 for, I believe, the first time in his career. Yeah, the numbers dropped off a bit, but he is at almost 36,000 points. And as we get closer and closer to the record, I want to let y'all know, I will be hopping into the game where Benny actually breaks the scoring record. Oh yeah, and we were really good this season. We won over 60 games, and we made our way to the NBA Finals. We're going to be taking on the Utah Jazz this year. Let's see if Benny can get himself a championship. The team around him actually looks pretty good. Game one of the series goes to us. We also take game two and game three, and we end up sweeping them. Benny Buckets averages 40 in the finals as he wins another championship. That's four rings. It looks like Benny could pass LeBron James in championships in addition to passing him in points. Heading into the upcoming season, this is what the squad is looking like. And also, here's a quick look at Benny's status on the all-time scoring list. Benny currently sits at 6th with 35,980 points. And I don't think it's a reach to say that he could move into the top three this year. Season is wrapped. Benny Buckets, again, only averages 29 a game. I got to see what's going on real quick because I feel like he should be putting up more points. Do we have some guys who are just good scorers? Oh, yeah, we kind of do. We actually got a lot of dudes who can score. Carter Knox, Cam Whitmore. We've also got Willie Floyd, who's pretty decent. Ben Matherin. So Benny's took a bit of a step back, shout out James Harden, in terms of scoring. But that's not to say he isn't a lead. He's over 38,000 points. I don't think he'll get it in this upcoming season, but the season after that, I think Benny can do it. Round one, we go ahead and beat Indiana. Round two, we beat Milwaukee. Conference finals, we got Toronto, and we lost. Never mind, Luka isn't cracking 40,000 points. He retired. But this season, we will see Benny Buckets crack 40,000. And the season after that, he will be breaking LeBron's record. It's crazy when you consider the fact that we are just 14 years into his career. He's going to be able to break this record in 16 seasons. But let's get into another year as Benny closes in on LeBron's scoring record. Are you really surprised at this point? Benny won another MVP. He cracked 40,000 points this year. Next year is about to be the year, man. We're the four seed headed into the playoffs. I don't even care about the championships at this point, man. And I don't think Benny does either. Oh, maybe he does. I was about to say we haven't been in the finals in a minute. But this year we're back. We're taking on the T-Wolves led by Bronny. Chance for Benny to win ring number five. And he lost to Bronny James. Bronny said, I'm not letting you pass my dad in rings. Let's get into this season. I'm going to start to slow the simulation down as we get closer and closer to Benny breaking the record. Now he just needs 16 points to pass LeBron. He's pretty much a lock to break the record in this game against Portland. We just jumped in the game. Benny needs three points to break the record here. Two points to tie it. Campbell gonna find Benny open for a three and he knocks it down. He just broke the record. There's no timeout, no celebration, no nothing, but we know he just made history. Number one all time for Benny. The whole list is glitched, but whatever. He also finished first in free throws made, third in rebounds, third in assists, third in blocks, third in steals. What a career it was for Benny Buckets. A crazy resume, 15 MVPs and 15 DPOYs, also four championships. That's it for the video. Have a great day. Be sure to like and subscribe.